everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was out in the camper, and then the wind started to blow really bad, and I decided I better come in. And when I came in, I have like a little small chicken tractor that's got just a uh, tarp roof on it that the chickens like to go under when it's a little bit hot. And I have a water thing there, so it makes me think that they're sitting around the water cooler like as if and gossiping who knows what they're doing under there but they're drinking water and there's quite a few of them under it when there is but anyways the wind picked up blew that halfway down the the fenced in area so I ran outside and I brought it up to the beginning I locked the chickens in the dog was running crazy because it's thundering and it was lightning and whenever it does that he just gets kind of nuts so I put him in his little house and he's feeling safe at the moment Jim is outside working on a frame he wants to cut he has these tires that ha were on a frame and the frame is bent so he's he actually has he the other day he's kind of sawed through the welding and today he was um, taking the tires apart because the, the inner tube has holes in it and he needs to get new ones but he wants to cut the the um, support bar that goes between the tires and make it smaller because it was really too too wide and he said it doesn't need to be any wider than the tractor or the little four-wheeler that he has so um he's out in the barn doing that and i'm in the house and i'm a little wet i don't know if you can notice the wet spots on my shirt my hair i did get a haircut today i went down to my daughter's and she was able to cut my hair, so I got my hair cut. And I want to tell you about my car keys. A lot of you think I misplaced them. I didn't misplace them. They're connected right to my car keys. So how they got lost is beyond me. Someone or something has taken them off of the ring and um, taken them. I'll show you how, what I mean. My car keys. This is my car key, and this is this is the uh, like a ring that the car the keys was on, and it was connected to this one. So how it could have gotten off of here? The whole ring was gone. Everything was gone. This whole, the whole thing. Not the the lantern. This is my spare key, so it's got a lantern on it. But the the ring and the key was gone, and I still had this part. So I don't know. My husband, he's so funny. He says, George, Sally, if you took the key, bring it back, put it on the counter, and no questions asked. So, and I had just mentioned not long ago how um, George and Sally had not taken anything in a while, and so I wasn't searching for anything. Well, maybe they heard me and decided that the keys would be the thing. Let's hope not. But in a way, let's hope so, because they'll show up if they did. If they didn't, I won't ever find them again. But um, we'll see what happens. Um, also, I wanted to, to ask, have any of you gotten emails that say that they are from the Amazon? They, they're not from Amazon exactly. They're people that put things on Amazon for sale. And they want to know if you would like to uh, review it. They will send you the product free and you review it and then you're supposed to write a little review on Amazon about the product. Now I've gotten several of these but I haven't responded to any of them because I don't know if any of you have done that and if you have I would like to know your experience with doing that or if this is something that is not legit I'm really not sure so I won't do anything until I hear uh, someone else say something or otherwise I'll just leave it alone probably be the best thing to do well I hope you're all having a great day it's raining outside right now it's it's gotten pretty noisy the road I can hear the the road and I saw a motorcycle go by the poor motorcycle is in the rain when we were riding motorcycle on our vacation um, this was a few years back we got caught in the rain and we actually it was a huge huge downpour and luckily there was a cemetery that had a pavilion right next to the cemetery so we parked our bikes and we went under the pavilion and was able to put our rain suits on because we didn't have our rain suits on yet. It came so fast. A lot of times 
we can see the clouds rolling in and we can stop and put our rain suits on and then continue on and we don't get wet. Well, this time we got caught and it was bad downpour, real fast downpour. The clouds just rolled right in. Or if we have um, the GPS where it shows the weather, we try to skirt around. We might take a different route. We don't have any in destination in plan. When we go on these bike tricks, trips, we are just traveling. And when we decide that we want, if we've gone far enough, and let's take another route home. And we look, what is it? They look for the curviest of curvy roads. And you know, when you're riding the bike, if a bike is in front of you, and you're the second bike, you can actually see the curves as they're coming. When they're, when they're going around the curve, you can enjoy, I think, the curve more because now you've seen the curve on another bike and seen them go around the curve and then you're coming to the curve and then you see another curve and you see them go around and, it, and it's really fun to watch. i rather see a bike in front of me and then be on the bike too and then feel those curves that, they, that I just visually saw and it makes it a lot more fun. So those of you that vlog on bikes, that would be a good thing for you to do. I would enjoy seeing someone in front. If you don't, if the person in front of you doesn't mind being videotaped, have someone ride ahead of you and do your talking that you do. And I can watch the bike go around the curve. And then I know we're going around the curve next when you get there. So that's my tip for bikers out there. Not that I'm a bike. I'm a, I guess I was considered a motorcyclist, not a biker. But anyways, I do enjoy watching them. And that, I guess, is my video for today. I will talk to you again at another time. Jim's not in the house, so I can't even look at him. He's outside. But you have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.